everyone, this is Rahul. I thought I'd do a review for the Jericho 7 string elite baritone model. Um, this is not a sponsored review and this is not a paid review. So let's get right into it. In 2017, I was in the market to buy a baritone guitar for my ambient and heavy music. Looking at the listings on eBay and Reverb, I came across this particular guitar, uh, which immediately caught my attention because of the aesthetically pleasing look uh, and the design, really clean design. Um, I hadn't really seen uh, Jericho guitars in my local guitar shops, but I'd seen a lot of advertisements on Facebook. Uh, so I checked out some of the YouTube videos and the reviews and it looked really promising. With that said, I went ahead and bought the guitar and let's talk about it. So the first thing I noticed when the guitar came to me was it came in a generic nondescript bag, which is totally fine. I bought it secondhand. The neck itself is very well done. Uh, no issues with the frets. Nothing was popping up. No sharp edges. So again, really, really good quality work. Craft craftsmanship is top notch. The nut is cut extremely well. Uh, the strings sit where they should. No rattling, no issues, no tuning stability issues either. Uh, that's also helped by the locking tuners and a really, really nice uh, hip shot bridge out here. Overall, the guitar feel like a top uh, quality instrument for a really good bargain price. And uh, yeah, the playability is super, super nice on this guitar as well. So let's get into the guitar specs. Um, from the headstock, you can see it's a three into four design wonderful uh, matching headstock for the body which is spotted maple uh, the body is made of ash uh, so it's really really lightweight um, wonderful clean look for the guitar a single push pull knob for the volume and a three-way selector switch to pick between the demarzio titan 7 pickups they sound super clear in heavy and clean tones which is kind of important for a baritone uh, talking of which, the scale length is 27 inches and the radius of the fretboard is 17 which makes it really really nice uh, for fingering large chords and for playing lead lines as well. Talking about the neck, uh, the neck is a three piece maple and uh, it's a set through construction as you can see, uh, nice cutaway out there for really reaching the high notes without any issues whatsoever. Um, I can actually hit the pickup right from a pinky. Um, I love the inlays. They are nice and bright and big. Uh, so it really helps with identification uh, from a fret marker perspective. The guitar itself is crafted really well. It has really nice curves uh, to sit well on you, with you, um, when you're playing it or when you're standing and playing it. The balance is really good, it doesn't do a neck dive, um, so you can play this comfortably without feeling it really weighing on you. Uh, I'm guessing the ash body helps contribute to the lightness of the guitar, uh, which makes it again super easy to play for long periods of time. As I mentioned before, uh, there is a coil tap on the guitar so you can split the coils. Uh, makes for really really nice tones when you're playing on this guitar. Uh, especially single coils on or split coil actually on overdriven and heavier sounds really good clarity with that as well the electronic placement is really good as well uh, for me because i like the way they place the volume selector switch it's out of the way for my kind of playing i generally have an issue uh, hitting the pickup selector on certain kind of models or uh, turning the volume knob by mistake if that happens but this kind of works really well for me it's out of the way, but it's super convenient. Um, even while picking, you can still use a pinky and get the volume knob. So that really helps out a lot. On the whole, I think this is an extremely well-made guitar. I think it's a bargain for the price. Um, so with that said, let's get on with the tones. Uh, that's what you're here for anyway.